Safi is struggling to fill out form after form to prove his claim for compensation for his losses in Friday's Beirut explosion. His daughter was injured. His house is in ruins. His car completely destroyed. Pictures on his phone are the most solid proof he is left with. The explosion may have targeted Wissam al Hassan, but the lives and livelihoods of more than 60 families have also been shattered by this explosion. Their homes, days later, are still off limit for them. Security men are still investigating the crime scene. Ali tries to take us to his house just around that corner, but we are not allowed. Ali and his family are now staying in a hotel. First week, paid for by one of the Lebanese factions. The government has also given him a thousand dollars to cover for a one-month accommodation. But that's not enough for the father of four. The state is our guardian. We want it to be more effective in helping us. His 20-year-old daughter, Zena, is in hospital with a broken shoulder and bruises all over her face. She doesn't want to be filmed, but her mother describes how it all happened. It was as if it was an earthquake, explosion, everything was shaking, everything was flying around us. I found Zena buried under furniture and walls and glass. The mother is thankful the government is paying the hospital bills, yet she wants more. I want my house. The government says it's trying to accelerate the process. A huge staff is deployed to check claims and inspect damage. But for those who lost their homes and property, that is just not good enough. We want a house. We can't be left alone. The state can do much more. Until they do more, Mary and her son tries to salvage some blankets from their destroyed home and take them to a relative's house where they are staying. Rula Amin, Al Jazeera, Beirut.